Good morning, it's Barbara. It is hot out there, but only 61% humidity, so maybe it's not too bad. I'm a little late today. It's kind of warm on our tree. Good morning, it's Barbara. Thank you for joining me for coffee. It is still morning, although I am very late. Dennis brought me a coffee in bed, so. I lounged a little bit. So I'm feeling pretty good today. Having a list and doing a couple things. I mean, and I'm not talking big things here. The, I, I made my S hook and my hummingbird syrup and Dennis cleaned out the hummingbird feeder and um, <clears throat> And we refilled it and put it up and the female hummingbird was there within a half an hour. So clearly she was waiting for us to get our act together. There were some ants in her water and stuff and she didn't like that, I don't think. So she was just waiting for us to get our act together and then very happily drank our nectar. So there you go. So we made our hummingbird happy. But <coughs> I also, watched some floss tubes and vlogs and I worked on my drinks again, my glasses. So I'm about two thirds of the way through August glasses. So I will definitely be ready to outline glasses come Saturday for our Zoom craft together. 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Please join us. There is a thread on Ravelry in the in the Flame and Fiber podcast group with the link. For the hostess with the mostest, the lovely Valerie, has posted and posted a link and everything. And if you don't find <clears throat> find that or can't get on Ravelry, email me at ma, at flame and fiber at mindspring dot com. And um, if you find if you find one of my videos that has uh, comments in the down bar or has information in the down bar, if you go to one of those videos in the outro screen, um, it has my email address. But it's flame and fiber, all one word, at mindspring.com. Anyway, I will send it to you. I don't think I'm going to edit this because I'm so late, but I will. Um, <clears throat> tomorrow try to edit and 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 I'll put it across there so if you need me to send you the link I can do that um, meanwhile I am feeling better I know I've been sounding down and you know beautiful sunny days help me there's no question about that and having the list has helped so I I can't think of what else I might have done yesterday that was on the list well I did look around my room upstairs and OMG. Many, many half hours of work up there, but you know, I knew that. Um, yeah, so I'm feeling better. So I know some of you were worried about me. <laughs> you know, I'm working on it just like everybody, like we all are. We're all working on it. I'm working on it too. Today, we are going grocery shopping. Dennis and I, we go together at Wegmans and he takes half the list and I take half the list and we're just not in there very long. I mean, we just buzz through, to, you know, because we really are, we really are trying not to breathe COVID. I don't know if I'll ever get my hair cut again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's where I caught it. Um, and then we'll stop at Aura's on our way to our walk because we have a couple things we're picking up for her. She, her brother Russ is coming tomorrow. Russ and Pat are favorites and they are coming tomorrow. Aura's cousin Sarah Ann has an annual family picnic for Aura's side of the family every year and it's this year on Saturday. Dennis and I don't go. We don't know any of those people. <laughs> I mean, I don't think any of Aura's kids are going. Kim's not going. Gary's not going. <laughs> We're not going. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> Russ and Pat go. And so they're going to take Aura to the picnic on Saturday. And then 
they're all three coming over for dinner at our house on Sunday. So we will get to see them while they're up here visiting. And it's always fun to have them. They are the loveliest people in the world. Couldn't find lovelier people if you tried really hard. So that'll be fun. So I do have to put, you know, clean the house on my list. But the house is not in bad shape. It needs to be dusted. The bathroom, of course, needs to be cleaned. But... And the table has my painting stuff on it still, but it won't take long to clear. So it's not a big task for me to get ready for them to come. And uh, it'll be fun to have them for sure. And then I will have um, my crafting with Christy on Sunday night. So I, I will, I'll have a busy weekend. I'll be crafting with you guys on Saturday, crafting with Christy on Sunday, and dinner with Russ and Pat. So, But it's Thursday, so... Grocery shopping. Dennis has his D&D &D online tonight, and so I'll... It actually won't be very different than last night when he was playing EverQuest 2 in his office. <laughs> so, for me, it's really the same. For him, it's he's doing something different. So, that's today. That's the plan for today. Update my list with my cleaning projects and uh, go grocery shopping. There you go. Not not much interesting going on. I did did do some reading yesterday. I did some stitching yesterday. So I'm I'm working on it. I'm feeling better. Like I said, it's amazing how a sunny day, a nice sunny day, makes a big difference. I was outside for a while yesterday, and that was nice. Put the fan on out here, and it was quite lovely for a, till I till it got too sunny, and. Uh, Actually, the deck is really perfectly situated. I'm having dappled sunlight come through because we have trees in our backyard. And there's a little period of, well, on, a, on a hot summer sunny day, there's like a two hour period where there isn't really a great place to be on the deck because it's too sunny and too hot. But as the sun sets, it sets behind the house so that the shadow of the house comes onto the deck and so the evenings are really nice here too so it's like the perfect situation for a deck beautiful morning and then nice evening it's the middle of the day that's not the best so so we were out for some of the good parts yesterday and it was nice somebody's working on something Cicadas are further away. I don't know how. I don't know how that works, and I don't hear the hawk. I that hawk was caught crying the whole time through that video. I don't know if you noticed it, but um, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, so the hummingbirds are happy. We're gonna get a little some groceries for Aura along with ours. So we'll drop those off this afternoon. Check her. She said that her shoes are working great, so that's good. And, uh, yeah. And then she'll get company tomorrow because Russ and Pat will be arriving tomorrow. And we'll see them all on Sunday. So there you go. Whole rundown of the rest of the week. Should be, should be lovely. Yeah. Anyway, so I'll probably do some stitching today because I do want to make sure I have all the glasses ready for our crafting session on Saturday. I have two more days to do that. I could also stitch glasses during the crafting session, but I want to be prepared. And it moves things forward because it's already, what, the 20-something? 25th? And I haven't, I haven't even finished filling all the drinks in my July, you know, so I got to get going. I got to get going. I'm not even, I'm not even up to the 25th on my glasses, so I'm behind. But that's okay. Dennis is throwing the frisbee for Pearl. She's the happiest dog in the world when that frisbee's in play. Let me tell you. Very happy. Although it's not a great frisbee as far as frisbees go. It's perfect for her. It's a dog frisbee. So she chews it up and she brings it back. And Dennis throws it and she catches it. But it doesn't fly fabulously great. So she can reach it. And, you know, it doesn't get too far ahead of her. 
and she doesn't do any wild acrobatics in the air to try to catch it. That's what our other dog, we had two other Frisbee dogs in our lives together and both of those Frisbee dogs tore their knee muscle uh, cartilage, like an ACL only, it's not called that with dogs, and had to have operations. So in her youth, when she would have gotten, well, she's not that old, she's five. In her youth, or she's six. I don't remember now, five maybe. Um, when she was younger, she would have gone crazy and just did all kinds of shenanigans in the air trying to catch that. Now she's a little more quiet, and it's a quiet frisbee, right? See, Mimi? There's my Maisie girl. There's my Maisie girl. Yeah. You're not a frisbee dog, are you? No, you're not a frisbee dog. Not that Pearl would ever let you get anywhere near that frisbee, would she? No, she wouldn't. You never would have had a chance. We would have had, we would have to have seven frisbees for you to get a frisbee, won't we? But you don't actually. She shows actual not much inclination, so she doesn't seem very jealous of it. <sighs> ramble, ramble. So I'm feeling good. I hope you are too. I hope you're staying safe and your your health is good and you're feeling better and you're improving. If you've been ill, please take good care of yourselves. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Please, please stay safe and stay sane.